This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Discoveries course. I'm on Unit 3 Animation and Games, Project Design a Game, and Part 11. So far I have, well, a bit of a game. Um, as you can see. Let's see what we're doing now. Sprite Interactions. The last step is to create the functions that will make your sprites interact in right ways. You'll need a function for each type of sprite interaction. You can use the collect items in, yep, that's what we want. Display, okay. Create a function in the for your code and call the function and set. Yep. All right. So we need, I want to collect hamburgers. So I'm going to go all the way down, go to functions, grab one, and I'm going to go to text for a sec so I can separate this. And this function is going to be called collect items. Right, but what it's going to be is I need a control. I'm going to check. Nope. If player is touching hamburger, if sprite is, if player is touching hamburger was the name of my sprite. So if they're touching, I want the variable score to equal score plus two actually. So score will equal score plus two. And then I also want to set score to respawn. So I'm gonna say score equals score plus two, and then I'm gonna, I wanna set hamburger to respawn. So then I'm going to go to Sprite, and I'm going to grab my Sprite X and drop it in here. And I want hamburger to X to then be negative 20. Because I know it's off the screen, and then it will respawn in the uh, loop items. And I want to run this, so you need to call it in your draw loop. Because functions create the code, but nothing is run other than the draw loop and the stuff above the draw loop. Unless you ask the computer to run it. So, um, this was collect items. Yep. Let's see. Uh oh, what did I do here? Did I not call it burger? Oh, I called it item, didn't I? I did. Try again. And score went up by two. That's awesome. And I might want to change the hamburger spawn, like where it spawns and the velocity even. So to do that, I'm going to take the speed and use it for hamburger as well. And then item location for Y, I'm going to set it to random, math random, and let's set it between eh, 250, oh that should be the ending number, so 150 to 250 maybe? Oh, and I wrote this variable wrong. If we did 100 to, I want it to be a bit higher. Oh, that's really hard to get to because of my gravity. Ah! Alright, so maybe something like that. And then... Interaction, collect items, displace enemies. 
Um, and so I also, though, I'll put this in collect items. I also, if I'm touching the obstacles, I'm going to lose one point. So let's do a control if, and then an if, and then sprite is touching, is touching. So if player is touching obstacle, and if player is touching obstacle two, we want score to equal score, but we want to take away one. Oh, but then the It's going to take it away the whole time they're touching, right? Hmm. Maybe I should use bounce. Oh, maybe I should have the obstacle respawn. Let's do that, actually. I like that more. So we're going to have the obstacle respawn. If we hit it, it respawns. So I'm going to do what I did with our hamburger. I'm going to set the X to off the screen because it will respawn automatically from our looping function. Let's try that. And then I'll just lose one, and it's gone. Gone. Oh, so I should set it to more than this. So we can't see it. And then if I get a hamburger... Oh, I missed the hamburger. No, that's so hard. Get the hamburger! Yes! <laughs> Alright, so we have interaction with objects. Draw loop, deploy enemies. That is exactly what I want. Great, let's keep going.